Good afternoon, traders, and welcome to the Hot Stocks Outlook for February 23rd. 2017. So a very, very great start to the new year. Some really great opportunities all throughout January and the February months. And this is a great time to really demonstrate why it's so important to really leverage technology to give yourself an advantage in the markets here. Uh, now I have a few charts open about six markets I'd like to look at here. Uh, but as always, we're going to be looking at the vantage point intermarket analysis software. And that's what really generates uh, essentially these predictive indicators that you see on the chart. But we'll go ahead and explain exactly what those do and what those forecast for for traders in the market now as always you know there's a lot of uh, really technical expertise going on behind the scenes here in vantage point uh, what the software is able to do is analyze how other markets affect the target market that you're trading and then produce essentially a forecast for traders to make trading decisions so you know you have other tech stocks that share relationships big macro markets like the dollar index the gold market crude oil prices um, but also a lot more of those subtle relationships. So stocks that you may not know have, you know, really a strong correlation, different ETFs and ETF groups that share a strong relationship. And there's valuable, valuable information to be found in this intermarket data is what we'd call it. Now, uh, for traders, though, you don't really need to understand how the technology of neural networks and artificial intelligence work and analyze all that data. But you do need to understand, OK, what is my trading approach? What am I trying to do in a given market? It, and what are these indicators essentially forecasting as far as future prices moving forward? So uh, how this works, and we'll use this uh, chart here, Adobe example, is very, very simple. Now, against the price data here, and these are all daily bars and candles going all the way back to the beginning of January. You can see there at the beginning of the chart. But against those candles, there's a black line there and also a blue line. Now, the black line is just a regular, simple moving average. It just takes the last 10 close prices adds all of them together, then divides by 10. So very, very simple. And the only thing that really goes in to generate that value for you is past prices of Adobe. And so it's a very, very simple calculation and really just does a good job of summarizing what's already occurred in a given market. Now, the blue line that you see against the price data there and on the chart, that is Vantage Point's proprietary predicted moving average. You can see at the top here, uh, the P, uh, P4 EMA, so that's a predicted exp exponential moving average. And what that's able to do is forecast where prices are expected to go. So for traders wanting to understand, okay, well, has there been a trend change in the market? They really want to be paying attention to these crossovers between that blue line and that simple moving average value. So the prediction telling you where prices are likely to move next. Now, uh, against that uh, blue and the black line you see there, and, and very important, we'll go over some of the nuances here, uh, but at the very bottom of the screen here, you see that we have the predicted neural index here. Now, this indicator uh, works in combination with our predicted moving averages, but how it works is very, very simple. It's really just a 48-hour forecast of short-term strength or weakness in the market. So 48 hours, just two candles letting you know, hey, is there some strength or weakness over the next couple of days? And since you already know, you know what direction the overall trend is in, you can then make those better trading decisions day in and day out. Now, what's interesting about all these markets is I really pulled them from January and February. And you know when we've talked about these markets, so you can really see, okay, how have things changed moving forward? How accurate is this forecast to make sure that you're not only getting in at the right time, so start your buying at the right time, but that you stay in the market for the duration. So we see here since that crossover in Adobe, the markets moved up about 12.8%, uh, but we actually first covered this market, it looks like in February 9th. So somewhere around right here uh, on the chart, and you can really see what's occurred over the past few days is, you know, you've had your blue line over your black line, a lot of separation there between those two values. Here, I'll remove uh, some of these markers here. Uh, but the trend has still been forecasted to move higher and that neural index, so that 48 hour forecast, you see has strongly been there up at a one saying expect strength over those subsequent 48 hour periods. So, you know, whether you're a day trader, a short term trader, whether you want to know, you know, if you can take some profits over the next couple of days on a swing high, you need to know, look, 
this market is still in an uptrend, maintain those long positions. And until you know otherwise noted, go ahead and again, maintain that position, that approach to the markets to make sure that you capture that full 12% and aren't getting out of the market too soon, which is something that really hurts a lot of traders. So we see about 12.5% move so far, but let's look at some more opportunities, understanding that, okay, well, you know, we have this prediction of the moving average where prices are expected to trend moving forward and also our neural index moving forward to help guide us. How should we manage this position looking forward? Uh, Here's an opportunity here in Goodyear, same thing. So keeping the simple cross over the upside saying, look, the direction is up. As long as that blue line remains above the black line, you wanna go ahead and maintain that long position. And this is what's so important about this is you see there's periods of time where you get a lot of volatility in the market, but still a ton of separation between that blue and the black line saying the direction is still up, maintain this position. And you certainly have to stay in the market there because if you get out of the market too soon when the market's you know kind of whipsawing up and down over this period of time, you missed the 12% rally over nine trading days. So again, this is why it's so important to have tools that are consistently accurate and again, really leverage the power of technology uh, in the marketplace here. So uh, let's go ahead and move forward to Apple, a market we've covered quite a bit here. Uh, Apple first covered on January 12th. So that comes all the way to this point right here. And you see why this is so critically important to have these tools to keep you in the market, indicate that, look, the trend is still up, maintain your position, trail those stops. Um, you know, since this time, since the blue line crossed over the black line, Apple's up 23, almost 24% in the past 51 trading days. And you just see the, how you know accurate this neural index is of all this strength saying, look, maintain this long position, keep buying, uh, hitting those shorter term profit targets if you're a day or swing trader or trade you know weekly options and things like this, uh, but stay long the market because there's a lot more opportunity in trades like this. But if you get out too soon, there's obviously no way to go ahead and make sure that you're on board for these really nice moves. About 23% uh, going back to uh, really a mid-December there, uh, and that rally just continuing saying, look, maintain that overall position there. Uh, Exxon Mobil. So Exxon Mobil, we covered about February 2nd. So that would be around right here. And uh, very clearly indicated that, look, this market is going to start trending lower. Make sure that you maintain those short positions. And you see that we haven't gotten that crossover between the blue and the black line. The market's still forecasted to move lower over the next, you know, uh, you know, 15 or 20 trading days here. Uh, overall, about 36 trading days, market's down over 10%. So if you want to buy some put options, protect some of your long positions, you can go long on some stocks, go short other stocks, and really make sure that you're, you know, getting the best out of these trending markets and uh, making money on each side of the market in this case. Uh, Chico's. So again, uh, opportunity we covered uh, going all the way back January 12th. So about this period of time right here is a great opportunity to start shorting the market. That predicted moving average crossed below a lot of weakness from this neural index saying, go ahead and exploit that opportunity to the short side. But you see how things change and how the software is going to update you so that you can, again, make those better trading decisions, change your approach and, and guide your actions while you're interacting with the marketplace. So while there was a great 15% decline over that 28 trading days, again, shorter term traders, options traders can go in and make some money over that time period. But things certainly change where you have your blue line crossing above the black line, neural index up at a one, giving that confirmation of that trend change. And you did not want to hold any of those short positions on Chico's anymore. If anything, this is an opportunity to get long since the market is now in an uptrend. You see the market up about 12%, almost $2 per share on a very, very cheap stock here just in the past 13 trading days. So you see how accurate these tools are as far as the short term, getting that strength in the market, getting this weakness over these 48 hour periods. And again, that strength coming in and letting you know, okay, now's the time to buy. You get that gap up and things moving higher. But obviously the trend reversed way back at the beginning of February. So traders can understand how they can adjust themselves, reverse their position and get ready for a 12% rally in the stock. Uh, last opportunity here, something we talked about uh, for month after month after month, uh, starting all the way back in January 5th, um, so Wabash National here, and what I was explaining then, and I'll explain once again here is, 
and you gotta have those tools that keep you in the market so you can make sure that you make the most out of each trading opportunity. So, you know, from that point in January, the market had already moved up about 42%. So not a bad move, but you never got that crossover, that blue line crossing below the black line. It still said, look, maintain that position. And the market moved up about another 30, 35%, 85% move over 68 trading days. But this is all the way back in November saying, now's the time to go ahead and get long. You can go ahead and obviously take some profit out of the market, but keep some of that position on as long as that blue line remains above the black line because you just don't want to miss opportunities like this. You know, an 85% move over 68 trading days can have just a dramatic approach on your trading account and your equity throughout the year. So, you know, this is a stock trading at 12, 1250 uh, per share when that forecast came through, now it's up $9. So even a thousand shares, you buy some options contracts, a couple thousand shares, making you know ten to twenty thousand dollars over the course of just a few months of time there. So uh you know, as always, you know, it's just so important to have the right tools. And Vantage Point here definitely does a great job of highlighting these very, very profitable markets that get into trends. And you obviously want to make sure that you stay on board when those trends persist. It can make a lot of money, like we've seen really all throughout these months of January, now going through February here. So, uh, as always, you know, this has been the Hot Stocks Outlook for February 23rd, 2017. Thank you all for watching. Best of luck out there in the markets and bye for now.